fully functional POS system using ChatGPT. Today, I'll show you how you can develop a system like this with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and SQL, but without needing to learn any of these programming languages. By the end of this video, you'll have all the knowledge you need to start offering billing system development services and make money from it. This video is packed with valuable information that you typically find only in paid courses. So don't skip anything, and I invite you to stay with me until the end of this video. For a POS system, we need at least two pages. One for billing and another for adding items to the billing page. First, let's work on creating the insert page. I want you to act like a cloud-based system developer. Create a page to insert a few data into the database. Create HTML form to input category, name, price, and an image. Get that data using JS and send it into the PHP code using Ajax method. Insert all of that data and the path with the name of that uploaded image into the stock table. After inserting success fully, give a success MSG as an alert. Give me HTML, CSS, JS, and PHP codes also. I need SQL code to create that stock table. If you don't have a database or any idea about that, write database logins the same as I did. In general, cloud-based systems have three main parts, the front-end, back-end, and database. The front-end is the user interface. You can learn front-end design from my previous video. In this video, I will focus mainly on the back-end and database handling. All right, we now have some code, and it's time to set up the environment for our project. First of all, we need XAMPP for this project. If you don't have XAMPP yet, I explained how to install it in one of my previous videos, so I won't go over that again. Now, let me copy the HTML code. I've created a folder called POS in the root directory of the XAMPP server. In this folder, I created an index.html file and pasted the HTML code into it. We also need to create a file named insertstock.php, as ChatGPT mentioned, and paste the relevant code there as well. Next, we need to create a folder called Uploads, as ChatGPT mentioned. Now that we've created all the files, it's time to set up the database. Go to Localhost. Before this step, make sure you have both the Apache and MySQL servers running in XAMPP. If you're unsure how to do that, watch this video first. Once you're ready, go to phpMyAdmin and create a new database named POS. Now, let's create the stock table. Copy the SQL code from ChatGPT, go to the SQL tab in PHP My Admin, paste the code and run it. You should see the stock table created successfully. Now let's test the insert page. Open a new tab and go to the localhost slash POS. Let's take a look at the insert page. I'll add an item, category one, testing item one, price 160, and select an image. Now let's insert it. The item was added successfully. Let's check the stock table. A new row has been added and the image is saved in the uploads folder. Here it is. So the item insertion process works perfectly. Let me quickly add a few items. All right, now we can start building the billing page. This part is crucial and has lots of valuable information for you. So stay focused. Create the billing page. Split the page into three sections. Flex direction row. Get all the categories from that stock table. Don't duplicate categories and print them in section one. When clicking on one category, get all the items that belong to that category and print them in section two as cards with images of each item. When loading the page, print all the items of all the categories. When clicking on one item card, add it to the bill. Bill should be created in section three. Give me HTML, CSS, JS, and PHP codes. If you're interested in learning about prompt engineering and how to communicate with generative AI effectively, give this video a like. If this video gets more likes, I'll make more videos like this. Our codes are ready. You know what to do next. I'll copy the HTML code, create a file called billing.html and paste it there. Do the same for the PHP code. Create the PHP files, then copy and paste the code into them. Just make sure you name the PHP files exactly as ChatGPT mentioned. 
After preparing these files, we can check our billing page. Go to localhost slash pulse slash billing dot HTML. Our items appear in the middle and the categories are on the left. Click on an item and you'll see it adding to the bill. Now, let's click on a category. It looks like it's working fine, but it's not complete yet. We still need a checkout button to print the bill. Let's add that next. Upgrade the code. Add the checkout button to the end of section 3. When click the checkout button, want to print receipt. Just give me only upgraded code lines, then I can place them into related locations. All right, we have everything we need to add the checkout button. Now, we just need to place it in the correct parts of the code. ChatGPT has given us all the instructions, so it's easy to find the right spots. When you try this yourself, your results might not be exactly the same as mine. So don't copy me exactly. Just focus on understanding the method. It's almost done. Now, we can check the update. Go to the billing page and refresh it. It's best to refresh by pressing both Ctrl and F5. Let me select a few items and press the checkout button. There we go, our bill is ready to print. You can now select the printer here and adjust the settings too. Okay, now we can insert items, find them by category, and add them to the bill by clicking. We can also check out and print the bill. These are the basics of a POS system. You can see that this POS system has more features and looks good as well. You can also develop this system further by upgrading it bit by bit. I won't go into too much detail now since the video is getting long, but if you want to learn more, I'll cover it in another video. So, don't forget to comment below and subscribe.